It has been 52 years since The Australian last published a regular Sunday Australian. Tomorrow, The Australian will print a special commemorative collector's edition for the coronation of the King. And joining me live is Jenna Clark, Associate Editor of The Australian. Thanks so much for joining us. This is very exciting and certainly so much has changed in 52 years. Tell us about the collector's edition. You're right, so much has changed, but I feel that the excitement in the Australian's newsroom today is probably just of that. It's more zesty than the late Queen's great Dubonnet. It is so, we just got so much excitement going on right now because obviously uh, we haven't been publishing a Sunday paper for 50 years and like you say, a lot has changed, but this 16-page commemorative edition of tomorrow's newspaper has everything you need. We'll have photos from inside the Abbey, all over the streets of London, the response around the world and probably some of the best journalists in the world on the international beat covering... Uh, covering the, the coronation of the King, including uh, Jacqueline Magne, who's our international and our European correspondent, who was one of the only Australian reporters allowed into the Abbey for the Queen's funeral service, and she will be covering her son's coronation for us this evening. That's fantastic. And as you said, a 16-page edition. And also, of course, uh, the Australian will have rolling coverage as well. A lot different as we yeah. wind back the clock to 52 years ago. People were listening to, uh, you know, the radio and the TV, <laughs> no social media as we know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the thing. I think 20 million or so watched Queen Elizabeth's coronation on the TV and it outstripped radio coverage uh, back in the day. But, this, you know, this time around, we're going to see the first social media monarch. It's going to be incredible. And, of course, The Australian will be... We've kicked off our live uh, blog and our coverage will be rolling throughout the evening from all of the arrivals into the coronation itself and then, of course, that beautiful balcony shot, which we'll see later this evening of King Charles III and his Queen Camilla. Uh, and then, of course, you'll see all of the coverage, whether it be fashion, whether it be you know the Princess of Wales and of course I think everyone cares about what she will be wearing and looking like this evening all the way down to the little ones being uh, Prince George Kirk, Charlotte and little Louis and then uh, we'll have all of the this wonderful analysis we have a uh, historian Geoffrey Blaney has written this beautiful piece about you know the, what the ramifications of what uh, the, his third monarch uh, are feeling like of him and of course uh, Anne Toomey is a constitutional expert who lets us know just what this you know, King, King Charles III will mean and his reign will mean for Australia's constitution moving forward. It sounds great. And Jenna, you know, if you're a monarch or a Republican, we really are witnessing big history right now, aren't we? Oh, it is. It's just, it's incredible. I don't think it's really hit me yet, Janie, just the, the momentum of this occasion and the, how just huge this really is. I think, you know, we're probably not going to see another one like this for quite a few years if, if Queen Elizabeth's got anything to go by in her, in her tenure. But I think it's going to be fascinating. This, of course, will be, you know, the first live streamed coronation that we have sort of seen out of London. And I think it's going to be really interesting just to see uh, all of the way that uh, we can cover it, be whether online in this beautiful 16 page edition of The Australian Tomorrow. And then, of course, on social media. And then, of course, right there with you tonight on Sky News Australia. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be live to Pete Stefanovic and the team very shortly. And we just saw some vision there, Jenna, of that exquisite 260-year-old gold state coach, which weighs four mm. tonnes. It needs eight <laughs> horses to pull it. We've got live vision there at the bottom of our screen as well. So it's just absolutely exciting. A bit of a chilly one there, about 6.30 a.m., in London and around sort of like 11 degrees. I think it's going to get to around 15. They are expecting some rain. But yes, rain, hail or shine, it's going to be amazing. It is absolutely going to be amazing and you get all the best coverage on Sky News and in The Australian tomorrow. All right, well, we look forward to that. And um, certainly, uh, you know, not just the Sunday Australian, but the Australian weekend and the Australian uh, during the week as well have been doing an amazing coverage. And, and tell us more about the, the live feed that you will have in the papers tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be brought, we're rolling already from now. We've got, as I said, Jack Magne, uh, Magne who is a European correspondent. She is furiously scurrying all over, uh, all over London, just trying to get the latest and greatest updates. And then we have Cameron Stewart, our international uh, correspondent. Uh, international correspondent. He's on the ground covering all of the street parties. And as our deal editor, Helen Trinker, who is a, a, cr a crazy monarch. We absolutely love her beautiful writing that you've seen all through the Australian for so many years. Is talking about all of the taking in all of the colour that's happening in and around London and those pubs and all those. Those beautiful house parties and then we've got uh, our very own Vogue team in-house Vogue team talking about you know just the representations that we're going to see that are being made through fashion what the uh, all those crown jewels the significance of all of those and what they mean and then I think we're just going to be stay tuned to all your social channels the Australian on Instagram and on TikTok and things like that we'll have all of the the rolling updates for however, however long that we'll be through this this parade tonight because I think it's going to be a very late night for us all but I think well worth the sleepless <laughs> yeah absolutely and you know hearing uh, just you know 
know, people talking about the, the coronation, a lot of people saying that it is escape from reality. It's mm. tough times at the moment here and across the world. But, to, you know, just watching it, everything, as you said, from the, the flowers to, to the bells mm. to the volunteers to setting up the chairs and seats and, again, looking at this live vision, there's just mm. so much in it and, and it's just impeccable with what they do, the timing mm. and the rehearsing. It's just incredible, isn't it? Absolutely, I think it's so so wonderful to see. It just so want so much. all of us just need to it's, it need some jubilance in our life at this point in time. And I think the best way we can just do is to zone out tonight and enjoy all that pomp and ceremony. And I think you know full full commendation to our Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. I think he's had a, a marvelous week on the international stage. You know, spotted there. I think that we saw on Twitter that he had a, a little sneaky shot with Kate Middleton, the former the former uh, Kate Middleton, I should say, the now Princess of Wales on Instagram. So I think it's just wonderful to see. I think people, like you say, I think this is. It's probably going to be 12 hours where we can just kick back and enjoy something that may seem like it's a little bit surreal, but it's we're watching history happen in real time. We certainly are. And, of course, the special edition tomorrow is going to be available at uh, Woolworths, Coles, IGA and other news agents. So we'll certainly be looking out for that 16 pages. It's going to be magnificent. As you said, lots of reporters on the ground. We're going to be speaking to Justin Lees tomorrow and a lot more uh, on the debrief of the coronation, which is in um, a matter of moments. We're going to be live to Pete Stefanovic and the team over there in about half an hour. So... A great night, a great day tomorrow. Thanks so much, Jenna Clark, Associate Editor of The Australian.